Hi, Peter Bernstein, Senior Editor of TMCNet.com. I'm here at IT Expo West in Las Vegas in the Rio Hotel. We're just off of the trade floor and concluding uh, four exciting days of um, a lot of insight and a lot of great things happening in the industry. I'm delighted that uh, uh, Eric Levitt, who is the CEO of, we're going to talk about two companies. Yes. Uh, First Point Communications and an Open Data Center. Uh, so we're going to try and kill two birds in one stone in this interview. But they're both very important because they both relate to A, connectivity, and what's going on in the cloud. So, Eric, why don't we, you tell me where you want to start. Sure. We can start with First Point Communications. We have uh, an exciting announcement about our New York Metro fiber network. Uh, we're releasing that footprint um, after a year of construction uh, this, at the end of this summer. Uh, and we'll be offering uh, dense wave connectivity across that network through most of the New York Metro POPs, including our Piscataway Data Center at Open Data Centers. Uh, it'll include 111 8th Avenue, 60 Hudson Street, 85 10th Avenue, and a number of other so for key those data centers. Of, so for those of you in the industry, those are, those are big sites. Those are very, very important yeah, locations. Very important locations. And, and our, our price point starting for a 10 gig wave is actually going to be $700 a month, which is extremely competitive in the industry. Uh, and protect a 10 gig wave starting at under $1,000 a month. Um, that network is actually already, uh, already selling, um, and we have several strands of fiber on each, on each um, path available. Um, that, network is, that network is gonna hub out of our 15 corporate place facility in Piscataway, New Jersey, uh, which is our care neutral co-location facility uh, where we um, don't charge uh, cross connects for carrier interconnectivity, which is also another very important uh, feature of the, of the network. So let's talk about the cloud. Mm -hmm. um, everybody seems to know what it is until you ask them, so what is it? Um, and, and, and where is it going? So mm -hmm. I have an expert here. Um, let's talk about the data center and, and how it's evolving and, 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 and specifically relating to the cloud. Well, I'm, the a cloud. Little, I'm a little scary if any of you says that they're actually an expert in the cloud, but I'm not necessarily <laughs> going to claim to be one, but hopefully I will be one day. Um, one of the things I may aspire to be when I grow up. The role of the data center uh, as a service provider is obviously changing quite substantially. Uh, traditionally, people have looked at data centers as the place where they're going to put their systems, provide space and power. Um, internet was added on as a service over the last couple of years. But now, as, uh, as corporate entities and enterprises are, are looking at the stability, the reliability, and security of various cloud offerings, they're looking at outsourcing to the data centers at the next level. Uh, at open data centers, we feel that the evolution of the, of the data center is to be uh, the cloud service provider uh, at varying levels. Um, one level could be just providing dedicated servers to clients uh, so that they can run their cloud software on in a dedicated system environment, but also being able to provide public and private cloud services as well. Um, we're working on a partnership right now, which will be announced in the next uh, probably 30 days, which will give open data centers the ability to provide public cloud. And that public cloud could even be leased at a, uh, on, a, on a per hour basis. So you can, if you need CPU computing power, let's say you're, um, you're doing uh, video feeds, you're doing video feeds to residential, to the residential community and uh, people eat dinner between 7 and 8 p.m., and you need extra computing power to deliver to your user to your user base during that period. You could spin up a new virtual machine to be your proxy, pay or for the, it for an the, hour. Or the, or the new version of House of Cards comes out and people want to binge watch. Or the right? new version of House of Cards <laughs> or Game of Thrones or your, yeah, insert your favorite show here. Uh, and you need to spin up that, that computing power for an hour or two a day. You'll be able to pay for it on an hourly basis. Um, so welcome back to 1965. Uh, yeah. We are now back to time sharing, uh, and shared uh, space computing. Shared space computing, exactly. Um, so we've we've now truly come full circle finally, and we'll also be able to offer uh, on a monthly basis private cloud, uh, or on an hourly basis per se. But generally, private cloud is going to be longer le longer lease times on the computing space, and it'll be flexible down to how many threads you want on your processor, uh, how much disk you want, uh, how many. Uh, how much, uh, download, how much download and upload capability do you want on a per virtual machine basis. So it'll get very granular. And that, that allows, um, allows our customer base 
to be able to deliver services to their customers nationwide. We're not just using our own data center to deliver that. We also have other POPs as well. Um, there's a total of, of seven POPs on our network right now, and that's, that's growing quite quickly. Um, outside, just you know, New York plus, uh, we have POPs in Seattle, POPs in Miami, and we'll be able to deliver out of all of those facilities. So the, 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 we believe that, that in following with the evolution of the data center, that we need to be able to provide those services. And within the next 30 to 60 days, you're going to see a lot of announcements from us about the, about the delivery of those services to our customers. So I, so I can't let you go without asking, how's business? Business is doing very well. Uh, we're, we're growing on a lot of fronts. Um, we certainly have that our managed, our carrier managed services business uh, under First Point is growing quite substantially. We're adding a couple of new, new clients there. And uh, in general, I think that, that, that we're keeping pace with the demand in terms of being able to, um, to fill, data, fill people's requirements for data center space, fill their bandwidth requirements. Um, and, and now we're starting to see that the, the transition from you know, really 100 meg ethernet is the new T1. Yeah. And, um, and we're working on rolling out those services and we're seeing a lot of demand coming in for those services and being able to meet that demand. The need for speed is never gonna go away. Exactly. Number one, and the need for having a secure and trusted partner is never going to go away either, right? Mm -hmm. So, absolutely. Uh, anyway, thanks for stopping by. Always a much. pleasure.